What's up, you guys? Um, today we're coming out with you guys with the Necro's deck profile. Um, I've seen some people asking uh, why Necro's could be going up in price, and uh, you know I've heard that they topped an OCG, and that, you know there's a top in their TCG, there's some regional somewhere. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, let's get into this deck profile. We got Triple Colossus. He's like the heart and soul of uh, all your combos. Helps you enable your combos, so that way uh, you know your classical plays go off. You can summon Valken Trish uh, much easier that way. Um, triple Valkyrus because you know he's pretty much consistency in offense and defense. Um, Unicorn, Cataster, Brio, Gungner, Trishula, and Decisive Armor. Um, Brio and Unicorn were at one for a reason, they were really broken. Um, you know, if only they could be at two, right? Have some fun. <laughs> uh, we have the Cataster, which is really good, um, brings versatility to the deck, uh, helps you summon um, your Decisive Armor and Trishula faster. Uh, it helps to make rank 4 plays easier, so it's really good. Gungner helps to make all your plays stick with, you know, your Unicorn, your Valkyrus, your Colossus. Um, and he also can pop cards, so he's very versatile, he's interactive. Uh, Trishula is all about advantage. So, essentially, you know, with Trishula, you will just summon it and, you know, hopefully it'll you know, win the game by pure advantage alone. Um, and it's a huge beater. Um, decisive Armor is what I've chose to run. Instead of a second Trish, I was testing two Trish, and, uh, yeah, the second Trish doesn't really come up that often. Sometimes you need the attack, and, uh, you want to be able to protect the Unicorn, too, so. Decisive of Armor is really good. Um, Exa, Dance Princess, um, Great Sorcerer, they all combo with Valk to, you know, get searches and, or get back your Banish stuff. Um, so they're very good. Um, I feel like Great Sorcerer is the best one, but, you know, that's my opinion. Um, the six Jews, because they're literally the heart and soul of the deck. Um, they make your rank fours, they search everything, they're the best top decks, very good cards. Um, and then in this build I just opted to run hand traps. So we have double jar ghetto because he's kind of like a, you know, defensive card. You can draw off of maxi, help prevent OTK, get life points. Um, but at the same time he's pretty aggressive. You can use him to boost up your uh, unicorn, to beat over stuff, protect unicorn on your turn, or on your opponent's turn. And then uh, use him to get your Valk to like 39 and just beat over like anything. Um, and then... Uh, the Ghost Ogre, it's really good um, defensive card. Helps stop OTKs from like Mermetals. And you can, if you use it on the right cards, like a Penelope Scale, and it can help you summon the Black Rose. Same thing with the uh, Effect Veiler. Um, but I like Effect Veiler because, you know, you put out a big board, put out a Valkyrie on board, and then they have to, you know, use Monster Effects to get over Valk, and Effect Veiler just stops them, and then it kind of ends their turn. And it can help you summon Trishula as a tuner. And then Triple Maxi to round off the Hand Traps. Maxi's good. You can put out big boards, so, you know, your opponent's going to have to special summon a lot, and, you know, to try to get over Valk, you're just going to, you know, get back up. You can draw into Valks, you can draw into Gungner, you can draw into Decisive Armor, you can draw into Veilers, you know, um, Ghost Ogres and your Jar Ghetto, so, you know, stop OTKs and just, you know, it has some good solid defense. So Maxi, it's a pretty good card in this deck, helps you draw. Uh, Instant Fusion for Norden, you know, it can help you extend into your, um, Synchro plays and also get you rank four plays, so it's just a good one of. Um, Regeki help you clear boards. Um, if you can make a, establish a dweller, Regeki is always really strong right now, so yeah, it's a good card. Um, you can draw a lot, so you can draw into it pretty quick. Um, Roll to get the Colossus, so you can get to uh, your spells, or you can just like you know get the Colossus, so you can use a classical play and drop a Trish, or you know speed up the deck. Uh, prep because it's broken. Uh, plus one, get everything back. Search for all your key cards. It's a good card. And then for the uh, ritual lineup, uh, two mirror, which is standard, but I opted to run three Cladoscope and only one cycle because uh, I'm not running Gishki Vision, so the sky cycle's kind of weak since sure it's banned. And Cladoscope, I feel, is kind of better in pure Necroz because uh, it can, you know, combo off with your uh, Colossus. Then there's also the standard, um, you know, Herald play with the Unicorn, so... Uh, I feel like it was good enough to run three, and I haven't noticed anything wrong. I haven't missed a second cycle yet, so um, it is what it is for now. And then we have uh, the extra deck, so we're starting off with one Norden, you know, just for the instant fusion. Um, we have a Quasar, a Star Reader, a Trishula, a Black Rose, and Double Herald. Uh, I'm running two because I actually have, you know, recycled the Unicorn Need a second Herald before, so because we're running triple on Cladoscope, so it, it, it does come up. Um, you, you don't want to get stuck having to use uh, advantage to, or, you know, using card advantage you don't want to get rid of just to summon a unicorn sometimes. Um, <laughs> as bad as that sounds, right? And then uh, 
Yeah, we have, um, you know, Trishula and Black Rose can be summoned with your tuners, and the other cards just help you combo. You can also summon um, Brio and Colossus at the same time, or Brio and Unicorn at the same time with the Trisha and the Black Rose, so it just makes everything work out better. Then we have, um, you know, the Utopia couple, um, get over ships, get over key cards, um, Castell, Diamond Dyer, just for con uh, utility, they're very high utility cards. Um, Emerald to recycle everything, all your power plays, keep yourself going, keep your engine rolling. Uh, you just don't run out of plays with those cards. And then Double Dweller, because it's kind of like one of the better cards this format for an XC because it helps uh, in this deck boost your monsters up and then also you know negates your opponent's grave. So, you know, Monarchs, um, Cosmos, and uh, Burning Abyss. For the side, it's mostly all theory stuff. So, uh, we have Triple Flying Sea for um, Super Quantums and the Burning Abyss. You just don't want an XC. Um, the Droll and Lockbirds are basically for like uh, your uh, Monarchs and, you know, um, FDKs and all those kind of stupid decks that like to search a lot. Maybe the Mirror Match, if you randomly see it. Um, it can work against Pepe too, or uh, Draco Pals, if that's what you want to call it. And then we got uh, Utopia, just for the, you know, uh, Quantums, just in case. Um, I'm running Triple Book of Eclipse for the Cosmos, because basically if you just Eclipse a board and then... Um, uh, they have like a pilot, and they, if they try to chain and summon, whatever they summon doesn't get their effect. It just goes face down because they can't interrupt the chain resolving. So it's really good to help clear the board and just beat over their ships. Well, and you can target too from at that point. So it's really good. Um, triple tune to clear out the back row. You know you can get it back. You can get uh, discard a ritual spell, get it right back. So it's always clutch. And then um, I'm choosing Zombie World. And the reason why I'm playing Zombie World is because, like, with Massacre Strict, you have to set it and, like, hope that they don't have an answer. Whereas, like, um, Zombie World, you can just activate it right then and there, and it just shuts off their plays. And people say that, oh, they can summon Erebus, but, yeah, they can summon Erebus, but you're more worried about them summoning Aether with Escalation and Stormforth. So, like... You know, he's a fairy. They can't really do anything about that. So if you just play this right there on your... Like, you're going second. You force him to go first. And you just play this. It shuts off, like, most likely two traps they have set. And since this deck doesn't need the extra deck, you can most likely mount a, a offense, uh, depending on the cards you have. So, you know, food for thought. Just check out the, uh, you know, Zombie World. It's a good card. And then um, my opinions on the deck. Um, it's a good deck. It's really fun. Definitely not what it used to be. Uh, so I'd say it's not that great. It's just good. Um, and fun. Uh, if Unicorn and Shirt kind of came off the list a little bit, I mean, like Unicorn to two, Shirt to one, the deck would actually be very playable. But as of now, it's just a fun deck. Um, yeah, I could see you may topping a regional with this for sure. But uh, outside of that, you, you know, you get nah. It's I don't think it's YCS material right now. But um, it is a good deck. To, you might want to pick up or just hold on to because if anything does come off the list, the deck was. We'll probably be a contender in, in any format. So um, that's deck profile, guys. Thanks very much. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like. And uh, I'm going to be working on getting some uh, deck prof or dual videos of some necros for you guys. So if you guys want to uh, see some dual videos, subscribe for more. And take it easy, guys. Peace.